Hey guys, welcome to the Droid Guy channel. How to fix Windows won't boot into safe mode. A corrupt and outdated Windows. Systems and corrupt drivers can be the cause for safe mode not booting on your Windows PC. Most of the time, booting your computer into safe mode is one of the solutions. If you are having issues with your computer. But if you are also experiencing booting into safe mode issue, it, it can be a very frustrating experience. But not to worry, there are solutions that you can do to fix it. For today's video, let us go through several easy to follow troubleshooting solutions that you can do to fix this problem. But before we begin, we would appreciate it if you hit the like and subscribe button for more troubleshooting videos. First solution, install latest Windows update. The very first thing that you can do in this particular problem is to install any Windows update available. An outdated system can cause issues, therefore make sure Windows system is up to date. To do this, click start, click settings, an icon that looks like a gear. Click update and security, then click Windows update at left pane. Then click check for updates tab. Windows will now search for available updates. If there are updates available, click download and install. After downloading and installing latest Windows Update Restart Computer. Once computer completely reboots, check if your computer will now boot into safe mode. Second solution, run SFC scans. System file. Checker scans your computer for corrupt system files and bugs that causes failure of booting into safe mode. If updating Windows does not fix the problem, try to run SFC scans. To do this, type command prompt at the search bar located at the lower left. Then click Run as Administrator from the drop-down menu. At Command Prompt window, type the command SFFC Scan now and press Enter. Wait for SFC Scan to complete. After Scan is complete, it will now display problems if there are any. Next, Restart Computer. Once Computer completely reboots, check if your computer will now boot into safe mode. Third solution, Update Driver. As mentioned, a corrupt driver can also be the culprit for your computer to not boot into safe mode. Make sure drivers are up to date and then check if it resolves the issue. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. At Run dialog box, type devmgmt.msc and press Enter. Then, at Device Manager window, click Network Adapters to expand it. Right click on the driver and then click Update Driver from the drop-down menu. Select the option Search automatically for driver. Windows will now search for available drivers. Once best drivers are already installed, click Close to Exit and then check if the issue still occurs. If not, proceed to the next solution. Fourth solution, perform a system restore. In Windows, when you experience an issue and other solutions didn't help fix the problem, you may now perform a system restore. It is basically restoring your computer from the time before you experienced the issue. Most of the time, doing a system restore fixes computer issues. To do this, press Windows key plus R on your keyboard. At Run dialog box, type Control and press Enter. Then, type System Restore at the search bar located at the upper right, then click on Create a Restore Point Result. Next, click on System Restore tab. Click Choose a different Restore Point, then click Next. Then, select the Restore Point you want computer to restore from before you experience the issue. Then, click Next tab. Click Finish to confirm. Windows will now begin the restore process. At this point, all you can do is to wait for restore process to complete. It usually takes some time. After that, restart computer. Once computer completely reboots, check if your computer will now boot into safe mode. And that's it. I hope this guide has been helpful. Please support us by clicking like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more troubleshooting videos.